this is uh, risk based engineering course and this is the last module and last ap uh, application that is the title of this uh, lecture is risk based engineering application and in this lecture we will be seeing one of the application that is risk based operator support system actually it is an intelligent system where artificial neural network uh, has been utilized uh, for uh, transient identification in uh, in in any complex engineering systems if any transient occurs that means when a system changes from one state to another state let us say uh, a plant was operating and suddenly power failure occurred now plant should go to the shutdown state why because the major cooling systems are not operating and this shutting down should happen in a very efficient manner and in a very positive manner so that the uh, systems are safe uh, now a person sitting in the control room of the plant um, he sees so many trips and alarms flooding into the control room so many parameters changing their status and it takes time um, many transient they are very simple you can just have a look at the one one window and you can tell okay this is the transient but sometimes uh, it takes time uh, to figure out which uh, transient has come like as i told you uh, power failure is one transient it brings the plant to shut down state uh, so uh, then he has to see whether the after tripping up the main coolant system whether the shutdown cooling system has started it has taken over and the power, emergency power supply is available so that the plant can continue in a safe manner in shutdown state so and this has to happen in a very quick time uh, some actions are required uh, immediately some maybe in a minute and uh, like that so however um, nuclear plants are built uh, built Uh, with a provision that uh, this is in respect of some uh, serious accident that even if the operator does not take any action for next 30 minutes uh, the system automatic uh, automation in the system that has been available it will take care of it and later on action will be required but on routine basis the plant should not deviate from transient to uh, uh, deviation that is uh, state and into the Uh, incident state and uh, uh, serious accidents actually so that is that is where the right actions are required um, and in timely manner so that is where this operator now this is one component of the um, problem definition second component is uh, during the stressful time the operator's cognitive uh, capability is adversely affected that means in normal condition what i will be able to uh, if i have to do some analysis based on uh, some uh, indication in the control room uh, let us say in one minute but in uh, transient or stressful condition it takes we, we all know that that when we are in a stressful condition we are not able to think properly simply this is what is get, uh, got converted into a uh, cognitive stray, uh, stress and the capability so but then computer don't get affected by that if the signals are coming to the computer and if they are um, the way it is uh, coming uh, to the plant it comes uh, the, the input comes to the computer and the computer has got all this knowledge a priori built into the system it will tell uh, this is what has happened and uh, the, the cooling system uh, diesel generator 1 2 3 have started cooling system 1 uh, 2 3 have uh, operating normal and the stress level goes down otherwise we have to find out from the indication okay, there should not be anything left you know to be done actually so if the transient characteristic is there if the transient state is there and if the um, uh, safety related equipment status is also known then i think you uh, our stress level level comes down so here this is the uh, fifth lecture in the application this background i thought i'll give you so the, here we have this as integrated approach integrated approach why because we wanted uh, this system to be uh, oriented with safety paradigms so probabilistic safety assessment or probabilistic risk assessment framework 
is ideal for this kind of system to be developed number one number two this system should have uh, it, it should have or it should mimic some human capability that means uh, thinking and decision making and uh, using the artificial neural network and machine learning algorithm uh, we we impart these qualities to our computer program we call artificial neural network and operator support system that is diagnostic part is done by a rule based fuzzy system or fuzzy neural network system okay so pro, pro pra is built on various component to the system level and further to the plant level so that means it provides the rational uh, uh, rational uh, on safety what decision should be taken how it affect the system and how it will affect the uh, plant and that can be converted into advice in in the uh, in, in the uh, in the uh, case in the case of uh, any particular situation that is arising out from the plant the two ma major components are a priority training so uh, we use only trained manpower for uh, appointment in control room so similar criteria is applied to this program also uh, the uh, neural network is trained for the let us say some 20 25 transients and uh, a recall test is done, done on this thing to ensure that it is behaving as an human for example uh, in a transient pattern it is which is which is made up of trips alarms parameter uh, reading uh, reading <coughs> even if two signals are missing if one signal is missing it will give the prediction with some error if normal error is let us say um, 0 0.001 if it is perfectly identified 0 0.001 with missing signal it will give something like 0 0.007 if two signals are missing and that is how operator thinks and then he correlates so the system should be able to correlate with other signals so uh, operators thinking should go into the system for example if the class 4 power root signal which are there they don't come but we find all our big pumps have tripped okay and then we see other equipments are also changing the status that means even if the root signal is missing the derived signal can tell us it is a class 4 power failure this is the human thinking so my network also artificial network also should behave like that only okay so and how we will know that we will do recall test we will simulate the condition which we want him to train and now suppose if that condition is something new for the neural network uh, we, uh, in uh, ANN parlance it is called vector if there is a new vector then the ANN should ask do you want to train this uh, uh, new condition and name the condition what it is and it will be trained so that means on the job it is learning actually again it is behaving like human something was not learned so it will learn actually okay so uh, you can take it for emergency scenario we require this system and it has been trained in that emergency scenario um, it can keep on advising uh, what is the status of cooling sub, uh, system if one uh, one uh, pump has not come why it has not come um, ideally speaking all the signal which are coming to the control room at the same time a specific signal of this that component should be coming to the uh, to the intelligent system so that it, it can take a decision and at the end of the day this system is an um, advisory system it will not operate in a closed loop because operator's job requires much more intelligence uh, than an autom uh, autonomous system that it does so uh, there is no automation here the way operator takes a decision this particular advisory system will advise the operator and and the, the, he, uh, then uh, for emergency condition operator's capability is uh, low now we are not saying that let us not over emphasize it but it will help operator okay what decision has been taken correct or not so you know, there is again one more think over point actually so this is what the introduction is and the pra knowledge I, uh, we we uh, we have discussed at length uh, in our module on probabilistic uh, risk assessment all sorts of information goes into building the pra model of the plant 
and what we have been discussing is that the safety level uh, or risk level so our core damage frequency is the one point reference which can tell us the condition of the plant second point of reference will be system level uh, failure probability or unavailability so all this uh, matrix uh, at system level at plant level at component level and in component level uh, uh, and we have this uncertainty characterization at all the levels that means any value which goes into the PRA model it goes with the uncertainty bound and then at the top also what we will have is uncertainty bound that means what is the confidence of that prediction that also will come and that form part of the our uh, uh, artificial intelligence that we have over here um, and then uh, um, most of the accident scenarios are modeled um, and then they are analyzed and they are also analyzed for fault tolerance if one or two signal fail or one or two symptoms are fuzzy or uh, you know if uh, there is some uh, some additional signal comes which interferes with the main pattern then also uh, like some it can be it should be treated like an outlier we know the case of how we treat outlier in one of our uh, lecture so all these things should do and it cannot be done by a linear programming method it has to be done by intelligent uh, system now uh, how, what is the structure of the uh, uh, our uh, system for first it is a plant okay so we have we have um, and then system structures and component that build the plant and then there is a control room which tells this the the operator the status of all the uh, thing and then the operator is uh, seeing this thing normally he is observing or he is uh, uh, he is called surveillance so he is having his own surveillance here and then uh, the transients are identified and then EOP and faults, uh, you know, uh, diagnosis. So transient identification and fault diagnosis. These are the two major jobs, uh, where, uh, you know, that need to be strengthened. Okay. So uh, we, the, so the, these are IOU terminal, input output uh, terminal, and all that. And they, this is how the main structure is there. Now, the now now we know that. Uh, human factor is one of the uh, one of the major factor uh, that contributes to uh, the accident okay there are different takes and all that um, he, uh, but then yes one thing is there um, when human is involved into the design human is involved into the operation human is there in everywhere so at the end of the day it is it has to be attributed to human but um, uh, let us understand it. It is the human who made the nuclear industry, human operator or you know professional who made the nuclear industry in a manner that it has got its uh, highest safety record that we, uh, that we have here. But then nuclear industry is very conservative and uh, you know uh, so, so we, we, we don't want uh, uh, any mistakes let us say. So operator support system is there. So, the chances of operator doing a mistake or uh, you know uh, it adds to the capability of the operator and that is uh, how it is possible. So uh, when you train the neural network it is not that uh, we have coverage of 100 percent no even if we train it let us say 95 to 90 percent of the situation we have trained it number one and uh, uh, then remaining we have to keep an scope and uh, that job is done by our safety systems you know. Uh, if the parameter um, pa parameters are deviating from normal, then the plants are given that redundancy, diversity, action, autonomy, automatic action and all that. And uh, human action is expected only after 30 minutes. So to that extent, um, a human has time to think, um, think about and diagnose the uh, system. Um, th um, and then um, once the operator support system is uh, 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 miss input some advice then operator can t always take its uh, his call actually okay so this is now regarding uh, how to build uh, we have seen the fault tree that we built from component to system and fault tree output is our system failure and system failure gets plugged in over here and the and the initiating event let, let's say loop means loss of upside power 
this is the thing, uh, event which is uh, which we have here, then these spectrum of consequences based on the success and failure of uh, various system, uh, we have this un now understanding of how an event can come and what are its different form in the form of cut sets. So, NN can be trained for this type of situation and uh, since because this job was done a priori, so that means we have coverage of most of the planned states given that you know permutation combination of success, failure and all of this. So, you can, uh, you can think that we have a very uh, rugged uh, and uh, framework and it becomes more uh, uh, foolproof by testing, by doing the record test and all that. Now, we don't have only qualitative conditions. We have probability that we get safety significance also here. Important is measure of this uh, accident sequences. So, uh, we know which one to, so it is a very powerful, uh, net, uh, powerful uh, framework uh, which uh, enable us to design a uh, uh, system. Now, how to build the artificial neural network? Uh, what should be its architecture? So, uh, it is quite possible that we have either in one NN, we train all the uh, all the 20 or 25 plant transients. Okay, it will the moment plant uh, transient comes, it will identify them. Well, second state could be different NN for understanding different plant states because uh, the plant the uh, vector patterns that is the input parameter conditions they stabilize over a period of time. So. Uh, the, that that much delay will be put in ANN also to consolidate reduction of the error, error which forms part of the declaration or diagnostics of the system uh, or understanding of a transient. So, one approach is uh, train the network for normal operation. Why it is required? Because the ANN should know what is the reference condition then only it will know anticipated transient and accident conditions you know. Uh, so, that and that the pathway will be the deviation from here to here or here, you know. And then a diagnostic module will be performed which is done by fuzzy knowledge based system or fuzzy artificial neural network, okay. So, the consequences you can see here, um, the, uh, the red miss consequences are very high and uh, here they are low because this is a normal condition. So, so here the operation uh, or you know uh, advisory system should be very strong. Uh, start from ANN. Um, th there are um, loop, transient, loss of regulation incident, loss of flow accident, loss of coolant accident. So, uh, and then finally diagnostic should play out over here. And uh, this particular chapter. Uh, it is there part of uh, rather this paper is there in open domain uh, on reliability engineering and system safety uh, that is basically um, this is evolved into a much um, better algorithm now but then there we had some 14 transients and they were trained uh, through artificial neural network the moment artificial neural network identifies the transient the remaining system status and if a, a, any deviation is there from there, what it should be ideally, then uh, it, it, it will uh, give advice why that particular uh, equipment uh, in the safety system uh, has failed and what is to be done immediately to start it. So, uh, that we can recover back to uh, the plant condition. Uh, so, this is, a, uh, this is an old paper and it is a new version is also there in one of my book recently published, Risk Conscious Operations Management. Both are in open domain. So, this is the neural network that we build. Uh, we have here that uh, so many transients, so many vectors and then output uh, matrix is there here. So, it will uh, 14 you know, vectors here, they will determine uh, after training 14 uh, conditions, states and then uh, if we want we can train the, this thing again back and, um, the, and here we keep on sending the new pattern in one shot and then the training algorithm it goes it is called you know, feed forward back propagation algorithm. Uh, and suppose uh, plant essential loads are here. So, it does not remain limited up to the this are like emergency power supply bus. It does not remain limited up to here. It comes down to 
the uh, individual diesel generator and finally in individual diesel generator also it, the algorithm goes down to control and protection logic uh, loop while system uh, that means different system and in this system also it different equipment so that means if i have to do a diagnostics i should have uh, this particular system uh, part of our knowledge. and this is what so, so emergency power supply that we use saw this sketch so this is modeled using the fault tree and you saw here diesel generator is there breaker generator uh, jacket cooling system, fuel oil system, they are all form water. So that means why the diesel generator, so all the system should operate smoothly for emergency power supply to be having, uh, you know, performing intended function. If one of the diesel generators has not come, why it has not come, automatically health of this system will be monitored. And in this system, which component has been contributing, that also should be known and immediately corrective action program can be cleared. So low low while pressure, this thing, this, these are the alarms which are there available at the local panel and that become part of he, uh, it over here. So low while A again was detailed one and this thing goes into the rule framing for the um, fuzzy ANN or for uh, rule based diagnostic system. So if you want to see the rule, they are like this. Diesel generator membership function 0.9, it is a fuzzy logic, fuzzy uh, approach is there. And DG2 membership function 0.9. Because in fuzzy logic, it is not on or off, or you know, confidence level uh, is also very important. So membership function is 0.9, that means uh, some confidence is there, high confidence is there. So you check this one, so if and then, this logic is called if and then logic. Uh, normally they are called rule based, so fuzzy and an approach. And this, so many rules are there, the rule base itself comprises of th thousands of the rules. And, uh, and they form part of the diagnostic. They support the diagnostic rather, I would say. So we saw that um, the operator support systems, if we incorporate intelligence uh, or rather intelligent algorithm like uh, artificial neural network and machine learning, um, yeah, um, it can help operator. And uh, I think many plants, they have operator information system or operator advisory system. Operation information system is uh, in in an abstract manner, the status of the system will be told, uh, but then in a, um, in a operator support system, uh, diagnostics and identification, I mean part of human job will also be you know, be there actually. And um, PRA is the best uh, uh, tool which can bring in that safety orientation into the system. The fuzzy rule based diagnostics or even production rule based diagnosis works here. Uh, strategy is critical to reducing cognitive load on operator. Idea is that operator's stress should be reduced so that um, uh, proper action can be taken. So, um, and of course, uh, we had discussed that, that in uh, prognostics and health management also, uh, one is the remaining useful life prediction. And there we had told for planned health monitoring, there is operator advisory system based on this because PHM also takes signal from the uh, equipment and here uh, uh, host of signals they come to a computer and they, uh, they save the plant from going into uh, uh, excellent state condition because well within time they bring it to safe shutdown state uh, and this is called transient identification and the second part diagnostics. The, they perform here, they perform diagnostics also using the rule based approach. So quite a bit of overlap is there uh, at equipment level, it is the prognostic which is playing out and while identifying that component, identifying that component is done here by diagnostic algorithm and uh, transient identification is done by ANN algorithm. So we have a complete spectrum of modern technology that is playing out uh, in the plant uh, which mimics the human operator and that's why they are is called intelligent operator advisory system or intelligent PHM algorithm. Thank you.